So you want to show up higher on Google, but you don't know where to start. Don't worry, I'm going to show you the entire step-by-step -step process starting at the very beginning. First, you're going to need a website, and I know that sounds obvious, but you're not gonna be able to show up on Google without one. Then you're gonna to need to connect that website with Google Search Console. It's a free tool provided by Google that lets you look into the algorithm. That sounds complicated, but I promise you it's not. And all these steps are actually very easy. Okay, first I want you to open two tabs in your browser. One with wherever you registered your domain. This could be GoDaddy, Namecheap, Namebrite, wherever you registered your domain. Open that in the first tab. And the second tab, open up Google Search Console. Okay, we're gonna start with Google Search Console. So this is what it looks like. Click Start Now, and this will log you in. Yours is gonna look different than mine. I already have accounts here, but if you already have an account set up, this is what yours is gonna look like. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click up here and you're going to click add property. If you haven't ever created an account, this is what it's going to look like for you straight off the bat. You're just going to take your domain and paste it here. So I registered my domain using Namecheap. It's hellotony.ca. This is just another variation in case we want to expand. I'm going to copy my domain. I'm going to go back to Google Search Console and then I'm going to paste it in this first column here where it says domain new. You do not want to do URL prefix because that's not going to count everything that on your website, but the domain new one will. So you're going to paste in your website there. Don't do HTTPS or www. Just type in your domain. Mine's hellotony.ca. Click continue. So if you get a message like this, it's probably because you have a space at the end. So I'm going to paste that in there and get rid of the space. Okay, now it's going to like this is going to pop up. It seems complicated. Again, it's very easy. You're going to go to option three here and you're going to click copy. That's all you're going to do. Then you're going to go to the other tab, wherever you register your domain, and then you're going to go to advanced DNS. And now we're going to add that piece of code to your domain. Click add new record, then select TXT record. Host is going to be at the at symbol, and then the value is going to be that code. And then you're just going to press enter or select or whatever the next thing is. And that's all you need to do there. Then we're going to go back into Google Search Console. Now we're going to click Verify. You may get a warning like this, but it's okay. This happens almost every single time. Click OK. Click Verify again. It'll usually take your website a couple minutes to actually register the change that you just made. So Google's not going to see it right away. So if you run into the same issue that I just did, try it a couple more times. Maybe wait a couple minutes in between. And it should work. Now that you've done that, Google knows about your website, you're going to click go to property. Then you're going to see a message that says data processing, check back in a few days. Basically, Google needs time to register all the stuff for your site and start gathering data. They haven't gathered any data for you up to this point because you haven't been signed up with them. This is why it's the first step and it's the most important step because you want to get that data from Google as soon as possible. And if you already have a website, you've already launched your website and you haven't signed up yet, that's okay too. Because starting today, Google is going to be tracking your website data. That's it. That's step one. And in the next video, we're going to be configuring your Google Search Console account. So make sure to subscribe and check that out. Bye.